back to another tutorial in this tutorial i'll be showing you how to create your own creative mode tab which is like for example you have a redstone tab where it has all redstone related items and blocks and also showing you how to create your own item so and before we get started you want to go to your build or gradle and update the forge version and there's no recommended version yet so you want to keep updating the latest version 43.0.1 and you also want to update your uh, grid version that really a new version was released you want to update to 7.5.1 so so let's get started all right so we want to create a uh, a class called main item group this is where our creative mode tab our custom tab is going to be located main item group main item group and you want to extend creative mode tab creative more tab as you can see here we'll need to create a constructor a public main item group not only label it's also going to be int length which is going to be how how big the uh the the tab's going to be so i'm going to add that there and you're also going to need to uh, implement the method make icon which is going to be the icon of the item group uh, we'll deal with that later once we've created our item and now we want to uh, create a static public which will need to, which will be used to reference it from uh, other classes such as the item minute class which we're going to make so public static final main item group instance and in here we're going to have the creative more tab I'm just gonna have the normal length of our normal tab tab dot length and you can call it whatever you want I'm just gonna call it main and in, instead of instance, just change this to main square. And once you've done that, now we want to make the item in a class. You want to create a package called core, and then you're gonna have the uh, in it, and you're gonna have item in it. And then item in it, you're gonna use something called deferred registries, which is used uh, to get to register items or, or blocks, etc. So you want to do public it needs to be public so you're going to need to register in your main tutorial mod class public start deferred registries and going to be item no item item equals deferred registries dot uh item equals deferred registries dot create and then the forge registries which is includes all the register for, uh, registers and this will be item and this is gonna be your mod ID so we made that last episode toy mod not mod ID and you can close this off and if you have a, if you have a look at the Java doc it, it tells you so for example if you want to create an item this is just with what we've done to register it you want to create block items to register the name of the item and where, which item you will group you're gonna have that and then to register you're gonna do item register uh, the event bus which we created in the last ep uh, episodes so you all you're gonna have to do is uh, item in it dot item dot register and ju just bus and so let's go about item in it we also need to create a register method where so it's easy instead of having to write the uh, having to write uh, items or register every time so this is going to be public actually private only only need to use in accessing this class of so private static uh, register object and this is going to be item and this is going to just be called register 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 and all we need is string name oh, no, sure. this is going to be properties dot tab and main item dot main this is basically registering the name and putting it in the main item group which is our own tab now to create our item we're just going to call it public static it needs to be public once we start making the models and registering his name using data, data generators i'm going to use data generators instead of just making our own json file the resource since more efficient so uh, that's what that will come up in future episodes so public static final Registry or registry objects, you can just copy this if you want. And I'm just gonna call this tutorial item to 
tutorial underscore item and we just need the name so register name tutorial 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 underscore item and that's and then if you run the game you'll see that the the, the item is there but there's been no textures and it won't have a name because I haven't done that yet so that's pretty much it for this episode hope you learned and if you're feeling generous enough my github sponsor thing will be in the description below have a great day and peace